whatever comes, we'll face it together. Let's go. Hey everyone, I'm Josh and welcome back to a new movie review. Today we'll be discussing Alien Romulus. Don't worry though, I won't be discussing any spoilers in this review. Before we get started though, make sure you do leave a like, subscribe to the channel, it's free to do so. I'm going to read you guys a quick plot synopsis just so you know what the movie is about. While scavenging the deep ends of a space station, a group of young space colonizers come face to face with the most terrifying life form in the universe. I gotta say, I have a love-hate relationship with the Alien franchise overall, but I do, I do love the idea of these Alien movies, but some of these movies kind of go off the rails, and I probably will be doing a ranking in the next week or so, so look forward to that, but I will say that the first Alien movie and Aliens just come down and go down as one of the best, you know, horror movies of all time, some of the science fiction movies of all time. It's crazy how much of an impact those movies left, and what is borrowed from those movies, and then you have, you know, three and four which are kind of a hard ones to get through like i watched them all in the last like week or so like rewatches for some of them first watches for some of them which was alien resurrection alien 3 or first watches let me tell you those were hard to get through and i was so excited for alien romulus but i still checked my expectations at the door like you always should with any movie you go see but I'm happy to report that Alien Romulus is so, so awesome. I, I felt like it was a new take on this franchise, but also a similar take between because Fede Alvarez takes ideas from other movies in the Alien franchise and, of course, weaves them into this one in such interesting ways, especially in the final act. I know some people might not like the ideas that Fede takes from the other Alien films, especially Alien 1, because this one takes place uh, about 20 years after the first Alien, so it takes place right in the middle of Alien Aliens. Uh, yeah, and some people might not like the ideas he took. I thought that I, the ideas that he took really did uh, have me more interested in this uh, this movie and in the characters in the movie. And I've seen some comparisons. People are comparing this movie to like uh, Force Awakens and or Rogue One of the Star Wars universe of the Alien universe. I gotta say, I could kind of compare it to Rogue One kind of because kind of it takes place. It's kind of prequel and a sequel at the same time. But you know, people try to you know dig it for that reason. And I'm like, Rogue One is my favorite Star Wars movie. So I'm like, when I went into this, I was like, oh, if this is a Rogue one of the alien franchise i will love it and you know i ended up loving it and as a science fiction nerd and a horror nerd blending both these genres together can be special when it's done right and let me tell you it was done very right here it was done correctly this is only after the first viewing but i still loved it and i cannot wait to go see it many more times i have my tickets booked for tomorrow saturday and if i still love it from there and find some more details to really look into i uh, it really depends on rewatch value but i think it was just it was just paced very well it's a quick two-hour movie and i think i'm going to be seeing it a couple more times even after this weekend as i said fede alvarez directed that he previously directed Don't Breathe and Evil Dead 2013, which I'm a big fan of both of those movies. Don't Breathe, I think, is good, but Evil Dead 2013 is a terrific Evil Dead movie. I think that's that's only the second Evil Dead movie I've seen. I gotta go watch the other ones, but that movie scared the shit out of me. The amount of blood that was used on that movie, especially in the third act, where it just he just made all the blood everywhere go pfft, raining everywhere. I was like, this man, this man is gonna do some great things with the Alien franchise, and he did you can tell he's a big fan of the original alien from ridley scott and the alien isolation games because i did see some ideas taken from those games you know just running down those long corridors it's dark out you got to find like the on switch for the for the lights and all that i just started playing alien isolation it's a great game and you can tell that fede took some ideas from that game and brought it into this movie and i would love for fede to continue either in the alien franchise and make another one or just continue making horror movies because I think that's what he's good at. And him continuing to be more creative and innovative with his horror movies just makes him one of the best, uh, you know, directors of horror movies today. Like, he knows how to scare you so well. Like, he does a lot of good stuff with blood and gore in this Alien movie. But there wasn't as much gore as I thought there was going to be. But there are some jump scares that actually got me to jump. So props to him because he had me, he had me like really leap out of my seat in one of the big jump scares that almost at the end of the movie it's also a big technical achievement and i'll try not to you know pick apart every single detail in this one single video but just like dune part two i came out of this movie like seeing saying like wow what a technical you know achievement this was as a film because movies you know they're sometimes really cgi heavy and i'm not saying this doesn't have cgi i guess it does have a little bit of cgi in there but when you bring like uh great production design great costume design and great uh, practical effects your movie upgrades 
things to a different level and you can feel that with alien romulus it was made for 80 million dollars and you could have guessed that it was made for double that like borderlands was made for like 120 this was made for 40 less and it looks infinitely better the cinematography is beautiful but the production design and practical elements is what takes the cake for me because it really does feel like you're in this kind of spacecraft space station walking around with all these interesting futuristic stuff it's just really impressive and the practical elements with all the practical xenomorphs and you know fede alvarez putting people in the actual xenomorph costume just running around looks so much better than the cgi version and the practical face huggers because like the remote control that kind of saw the behind the scenes i thought that just adds the brilliance of it and kind of makes it even more scary the sound design and score probably won't be talked about much between other reviewers but for me i think they played a crucial part and role into this movie as a sound your sound design in a science fiction film needs to be really well done i thought here is just really well done because when when uh, kaylee spaney she has a pulse rifle in here when she starts firing it you like you feel it in your chest you're like oh yeah that is just some great sound design as i said i'm not going to get into any spoilers here but i do want to prepare you for that third act because when you think the movie can't get any more bonkers uh fede alvarez cranks it up to an 11 or a 12 and makes you wish that these teenagers stayed back on their home planet to, because to be honest there's a big moment in the third act that might actually be pretty divisive for you know big alien fans i love the decision though but i don't know how others will like it but the way it played out the way it increases stakes really did work for me and it just it just keeps going it keeps going you think you're fine like every other alien you think you think you're you know fine you think you're out of the you know xenomorphs and all that but then something big something else big happens and that's where i was like oh my god there's this one scene that was actually in the trailers when they're in a corridor and kaylee spaney as i said has the pulse rifle and what comes in what comes after that i was like god damn what is, what is he cooking what is fede alvarez cooking here and then that third act happened and you're like this guy's just outdone himself i do want to talk about my main standouts in the cast i thought the cast together was pretty great but you're of course going to have some standouts here because in the alien movie you know some people die really quick so you don't get to spend as much time with those people but kaylee spaney the lead of this movie i thought that she's she's just terrific once again it's not her best performance but in the past 12 months she's just been owning it with priscilla civil war uh this and then there's she has knives out coming out in about a year or so so she is just running all over these different genres and bringing it in different performances with them still think her best performance is probably priscilla but this one is really great performance i'm happy to see her in a horror movie and a science fiction movie uh david johnson though what a great performance he gave wow he really impressed me uh the first time i saw him and i think the only time i saw him was in rye lane which i think came out last year or the year before it's like kind of this rom-com on hulu it's only like an hour and 22 minutes very fast-paced movie that is a really great movie his performance there was awesome and when i recognized him from there i was like oh yeah he's gonna give a really great performance here he plays andy the one uh synthetic that basically the android in here and the way he turns on a certain switch in this movie will go down in history he like plays two different roles which i'm not really gonna in gonna get into i thought that he just really nailed what he had to do here Isabella Merced is a terrific star that's just on the come up like every single year she has another great performance another great performance I think she's kind of going under the radar for some people she's going to be in a Superman Legacy coming up but she was of course in Turtles all the way down which released just a couple months ago I thought that she gave such a great emotional performance in that movie but here she has her uh, scream queen turned all the way on there's some very interesting moments with their character in here and especially in the third act she has a very interesting moment I think that she's just getting better her acting is getting better with every single film that she's in she has a couple of screen moments in here that will probably go down in screen queen like history but just you know just the, that trio of people that i really did love the other performance in this film were great but they didn't have as many of those high moments that i would like and i will say you know this cast did do a great job on selling you know kind of the emotional aspects of this film because the alien movies they're never like that emotional you never get that emotionally connected with some of these characters but i will say uh some of these characters you do you do get really emotionally connected to so it is kind of hard when they die and it's really not a spoiler because a lot of these people are going to die in this movie you're getting prepared to go watch a lot of these characters die in the alien movie and it does kind of tear your you know heartstrings when you do get emotionally developed into these characters 
the pacing overall was terrific it's only about two hours long and i felt like you know we got going pretty quick we ended pretty quick like once you get to the the space station you could you start going you're like it's it's starting to ramp up here fede alvarez you know takes that first scare he gets started with it and then he just goes boom 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 more 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 i thought the pacing was really well done it's going to be a very rewatchable film so overall alien romulus brings us back to another legendary another amazing alien movie so happy that i love this one fede alvarez what a great director man he is just owning the horror zone the horror genre right now right now kaylee spaney did terrific david johnson did terrific isabella marced was one of my favorite performances in this film the practical designs the production designs the scares were off the charts and i felt like the sound design is not going to be a lot of th people that talk about all the other stuff but the sound design you really got to think about the sound design how it plays in some specific moments and i'll never forget that third act that third act will go down in infamy i cannot wait to see it again on first watch though i'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 which could go up even more after i see it tomorrow but i i had a great time with this one science fiction and horror franchises are doing so great right now and i think a lot of alien fans will enjoy this movie uh what did you think of alien romulus leave your thoughts down below in the comments if you did enjoy my review though make sure you do like this video subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out